Ah, see, I, see. I, I've, I've not watched those again because they they really scared me. Those movies, Nightmare on Elm Street. I watched. I think I watched the first two. Yeah. I, 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 I watched them all, but after the first two, all I did was laugh because they were so funny. Even watching the you, first one, you ones thought again. they were funny. Not me on Elm Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're kidding I'm, me. No, no well, I've seen more. I've seen more than that now. You know, so it's like uh, I know somebody who went on a um, what do you call it? A uh, um, a ghost ride with me. I was a ghost laughing. ride. Yeah, I was laughing. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. What you do know, you mean like, a ghost ride? You know, like a ride, you go through like a building and there's like all things hanging down and oh, people jumping the out. Ghost 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 train. Ghost ride. Ghost train. Ghost train. That's yeah. a ghost train. Okay, I'll call it a ghost ride then. Um, <laughs> and uh, my mate, who I go to football with, he, mm-hmm. he, I said, God, that was funny, weren't it? You know, he said, he says, no, I was scared. I was scared of it. I was scared of it. I go, yeah, and you probably laughed, didn't you? I was. I was looking at it, going, "Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that!" Because <laughs> it, well, it, in my head, all the, all I've got, well, they were all plastic and animatronic. Oh, well, it's true. It is true. But for some reason, when I go on those ghost trains, I don't know if it's because of the way I scream, but they always touch me. Whoever works there touches me every time, and that makes it even worse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I just scream my head off. Um, I just can't handle. And, and you imagine in the dark and you, the ghost trains going. You got all the noises, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Um, you just yeah. And because of the way I screamed, <laughs> um, yeah. they did it even worse. Sorry, I'm I'm just looking at some people. We've got a Doug okay. Murray. Doug Murray's just come on. Angela's on. Uh, hello, you two. We've got four people watching us. But those two are the only ones that have... Oh, Donna's on. Donna Plant. Hello, Donna from Australia. Um, yes, um, we're just waiting on Silvana uh, for her admin side, which I'm so grateful for, or we wouldn't be able to do anything, you know? Um, which is, you know, that's why I say thank you to her at the start or through the show at some point, because she does a... A, a great job so we can all come on and do what we do for us you know for you yeah but we, we were just talking about ghost trains you know and things like that who gets scared going on a ghost train has anyone got any, uh, talk, uh, any feedback on that you yeah. know what about you Ange? what about when you go on a ghost train if you've ever been on one would you get scared you know, going on one of them and going around in the dark and having things flying around at you. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Donna? How would you fare on a on a ghost on a ghost train? Yeah. How would you all fare? Because you know, we were just talking about Nightmare on Elm Street, and we just suddenly landed upon trains on ghost trains. Yeah, yeah, you tell them how you laugh. You laugh when you're on yeah. the ghost train. I can't believe I, it. I find them funny. I know, on Nightmare on Elm Street, sorry. Oh, yeah, Night, Nightmare on Elm Street. It's a funny, it's a funny film. <laughs> Even when, I'm, when I go out and, and I go <laughs> down there, <laughs> make people's ears bleed. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> But how are you all anyway? Sorry, we're just having a laugh because this is part of what we do. We have a chat, we have a laugh, we have a joke. We we involve everybody that you know that wants to get involved. We call everyone that comes to us part of the family, you know, and we enjoy it because we want people to go away happy, smiling, and help them on their day, or you know, go and have a great sleep. Oh, spirits won't harm you. Okay. Okay. Oh, righty ho. Um, yeah. Spirits won't harm you. Well, they don't. You know, if you upset them, they, you know, they can, yeah, I could tell you about things that I've done, but that'd scare a lot of people. 
<laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, the big wheel. Oh no, I don't like Blackpool. Uh, and went on the Big Dipper at Blackpool. Oh, did she? Yeah. I've um, nearly finished. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. No, we're just getting all the experience of, experiences of people um, going through, like, um, fair, on fair rides and things, you know, and seeing what they, what they, what, what they like. Yeah. <laughs> Personally, I hate rides like that, apart from, you know, like the really slow ones. <laughs> I don't, I don't like the ones that go round in circles. Ugh. All they do is make me feel sick. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, you lean out and yeah, leave a leave a message on quite a few people that are standing there watching. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, but you're all okay. But oh, Savannah's nearly done. Um, how is every how's everyone's day gone? Has it been good? You know, where, where are you? Where are you from, Doug? Um, if you've been on before, we can't remember everybody's name. Oh, oh not everybody's name. Every place that people live. The only the only one I know is Ange, because she lives just up the road from me. <laughs> so, so whereabouts do you come from? Ah, yep. Hang on a minute. You know, I always I always show spirit respect because of what I do and what Savannah does. You know, you you always show the spirit respect because to me they're friends. You know, um, if you I've seen these pro, I've seen these programs on the TV where people go right, we're going to go and look look for um, spirit ghosts or whatever they want to call them, and they go oh. Can so and so come through this that, and, and they get touched on the arm and they run. If if that was me, I'd I'd be there asking, come on then, let's have a chat, you know, <laughs> let's talk, let's enjoy the, you know, let's enjoy the moment while you're here, you know, let's have a laugh with them, and <laughs> yeah, but what? Too many people get scared because. They can't see it. Yeah, that's the only reason. You know, if they could see it, um, then I do believe they'd be even more scared because if their aunt Flo just suddenly appeared to them that had been passed away for 10 years, they'd be, uh, yeah, they wouldn't, yeah, they'd be, all you'd see is dust. Yeah. But uh, no, I... I because that's what I'm hoping to do. I'm hoping to get some uh, ghost ghost walks going when when we can uh, when we can do them. You know, as part of this year. Yes, Peterhead, Scotland. Sorry. Yep. Thank you. It's nice. What part is that? Whereabouts is that? Is that High, Highlands or Lowlands? Is that, is that Aberdeen way? Because my nephew lives up that way somewhere. Hmm. And uh, it's nice. Bloody cold during the summer, though. <laughs> Even during the summer sometimes. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. How do you pronounce that one? Stacey Ann. Stacey Ann. Stacey -Ann. How are you, Stacey Ann? <clears throat> I hope you're well. Yep. Would you get scared on a ghost train? Because that's what we've been talking. We're, we're just waiting on. Yep, don't worry. We'll get to you soon. Um, yep. Carrie Mitchell. Who's Carrie Mitchell? Okay. Uh, we'll get to you soon because we're just waiting on Savannah to do the... I'm actually... <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, are you writing the names down or? I've been writing names down. Okay. Now, Donna, okay. Donna, didn't we do one for you in the a couple of days ago? Yes. I'll put you on the list, but um, 
sometimes like we can't like it's you'll get the same message or it's a bit hard because there's only like a certain way you can say the same thing um and it doesn't work out but look I'll, I'll give it a go i've put you on the list um i've got doug and um stacy ann and I, i've put donna on there and i know Ange wants one so i've put Ange on there okay uh, yeah we've got uh, stacy ann yes i've got stacy ann on there okay uh who else um, who else have we got? I, yeah, I have put you on the list, Donna. We'll see how we go because sometimes I get stuck when you like you've just had one very recently. Yeah. Hi, um, Angie. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. Like like Savannah said, um, whoever it is, if you have too many readings in one go, uh, you're just going to like Savannah said, you'll just get the same message over and over and over again, and it'll be very difficult to read give you something different because you're not working on them messages already. I know, I know it sounds a bit over the top, but that's the way I was taught. If, if I do a reading for somebody, I was always told, always leave it six months because it gives it time. I, I mean, that's a full reading, that is. That's the one way we do, you know, that you come in and do like an hour with us or however long it takes. But uh, it's not your fault. It's just the way, you know, spirit work. And, you know, sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing, you know. Um, but we don't want to let anyone down. <coughs> uh, but, uh, you know, if you get the same messages, you're just going to go, oh, that sounds exactly what he said last time or what, what they said last time. Yeah. So we, we're telling you now, just in case you get the same messages. We don't mean to, but it just sounds like it. Yeah, sometimes it yeah, sometimes it doesn't make sense. Yeah. And um it's just like they play with you because they think, well, you know, they're not working on what you've told them already. So they yeah. play with you. Um, yeah. but we'll see how we go anyway. Yeah. Um and Anne's in. Did you say Anne? And English. Oh. Um oh there she is. Hi Anne, how are you? Yep. Yeah. Hope she's well. Do you want me to do you want me to put you on the list, Anne? Well, I've got a few people already on there. As long as you stay on, and um, I'll actually check before I do your card that you are still on because there's no point. Because <laughs> <laughs> sometimes people they want it straight away and then they just go off. Yep. But before I start, I just want to let everybody know that we are going on our YouTube channel weekly, which we've already started. I have pinned the comment with the link to our YouTube channel. So if you'd like to be part of it, where we still do readings on there, like we do here, and you can participate with the chat, click on the link and subscribe. Click on the bell so you get notified when we do go on. And you can join us there too. Especially mm. like if um, if you come on straight away and I can you come on at the top of the list, I can at least um get a reading through for you sometimes i have names towards the bottom and because of the energy that you use when you focus on someone and tap into their energy you do become very tired and there has been times where i still have a few people but i just can't do it anymore um so it's just to avoid that but uh it'll be great if you go on there and subscribe so you can join us on there okay yep. and so i'll yep. put you on the list Anne. Yeah, well, uh, have you seen Angie? Um, I've got Angie Aldridge. That's her, yeah. I'm it's writing I'm surnames. Through. I'm writing oh. surnames this time because last time we had a lot of Donners and <laughs> there was someone else that we Na had. Natalie, I name. think. No, Hayley, Hayley, Natalie. Yeah, and I just got really confused. Um, yeah. Have you got Natalie down there? there? Wait a minute, and. And um, oh, seen... thank you, Donna. Great, because we'll see you on there when we're going on. We go at least once a week on there, so or more. If we, we just have the urge, we're having a chat, and we think, let's go on there, and we just do so that way you'll get notified. Make Definitely. sure you've clicked on the bell. Uh, yeah. Anne and Natalie. Yeah, you've got Natalie there. Uh, yeah, hello, Natalie. Um, nice to see you. Um, I don't know if 
Have you been on here before? I don't think I'm, I don't think I've seen her name. Uh, if you've not, welcome, welcome to our little family, our little show that we do. Um, we're, we're a bit different to others. Where we have a chat, we do some readings, <laughs> we have some laughter, and, and we try or, and make we lift people's spirits. What? Someone has noticed our names. Do you oh. know we've been putting on different names every time we come on, and no one has ever noticed. Um, it, it it's um, Angie Angie Eldridge. Angie, I'm from Melbourne. Oh, well, I'm in Melbourne, Australia. And Paul is in the UK. Uh, my name is Silvana, and Paul is Paul. But just as a joke, we've been um, changing our names to different things, like you know Gary and Larry, and things like that. And nobody has noticed. You're the only one. <laughs> you get a gold star. You get a gold <laughs> star for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it does, Doug. Yeah. yeah, but we'll, we'll keep going with them and see how many other people notice too. But, uh, yeah, it, yeah, it is. It's uh, it, it's just a little thing for us, you know. It's just a little game that we play between ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Natalie, I have you on the list, <coughs> so you just need to stay on um, because I, I've got Doug first. So I need to, the people that have asked first, I've put them all on, so it's all in order. Yes, I'm Wilma. Uh, <laughs> so um, I get to, um, hi, Laurie. I get to um, hit Fred over the head with a big lamb chop, you know. <laughs> Hello, Laurie. Yeah, nice to see you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I well. Oh, back. Well, she's nicking our names now. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the first time anyone has ever noticed with the and names, how we've been changing. <laughs> we've only been doing it for 15 plus weeks. <laughs> no, it's we've been doing it for a couple of weeks. Uh, we've done it for about, how many shows have we done it for? About six or seven shows and this is the first time anyone's noticed. <laughs> no, it's, it's, just, it's just, a you know, it's just a little game, but, uh, oh, I've got to warm up. It's bloody cold here. Yeah? Um, yeah, Doug, I'm pulling out a card for you. Right. So, so you know, let your friends know that we're uh, we're here. Yeah, we're not like we said, or like I said, we're not here just for ch um, for doing readings or mini readings. We're here to chat as well and in and enjoy. It, everybody that comes to us, we get involved gets involved apart from the reading side <coughs> so yeah it's a it, it's a good thing that we're all yeah that we're all here to help each other we use our energy to help you and you use your energy to help us so thank you all doesn't matter how long you've been on here it's amazing thank you and we're amazed we're so thankful to everybody that comes to um, support us on our, on our on our little show. You know, we try and lift the energies, have a laugh and everything. But, uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, but uh, we're just waiting on Savannah now to do, to do Doug and see what we can get. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fred and Rose? <laughs> Great. I, 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 I don't think we're putting that one. <laughs> if that's who I remember it is. Um, hello, Andrew. Where's <laughs> Andrew? I didn't see Andrew on there. Oh, there yeah. he is. Hi, Andrew. Yeah. Hope you're well. <laughs> okay. Doug. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Fred and Rose. Yeah, not right. good people. Aren't they? <laughs> oh, we're not going to mention it. Okay. <laughs> no. I've not heard of it at all. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you after the show. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, Doug, what I, I pulled out for you is the nurture card. 
And what I'm getting from this is that um, nurturing of your inner wisdom and of your inner child. So I, I've got here that um, you know that it's there. You do have an inner wisdom and uh, you need to nurture it. You actually need to grow it, evolve it. Also, your character. I feel like perhaps you're suppressing who you really are and you need to nurture who you really are, like your inner child. You need to bring that out because that is your best self. Um, I feel that you may already know this, but you need to, I'm seeing like stairs, so you need to actually take steps to start doing this, um, to nurture yourself with your inner wisdom and evolving yourself. Take it step by step. Sometimes to do this, we, we, there's so many things that we need to do. Meditate, um, do this exercise, do that, go for a walk. It's just too much. Just do one thing a day. Just start little by little and it'll just come easy to you. It's just starting to get into the habit, uh, into the discipline. That's the word that actually has come through to me. So it's just a, you need to just discipline yourself and because it's, it's there. You just need to apply it, evolve it, and grow it. So I hope that that resonates with you and that it helps you. Mm. Oh, you understand. Good. I'm glad. Okay. Have you... Uh... Yes, I've finished. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Doug. Uh, let's see what we can get for you. Um, yeah. I don't know why I'm getting this. It's like the first thing I got with you was you in the dark. Okay. I know this sometimes, sometimes sounds a bit overwhelming, but I do believe it's some, it's yourself searching for the light. Okay. And at the moment, that darkness seems to be overwhelming you. Okay. But the light is in within touching distance. But for some reason, at the moment, you, I don't know why. It's like you don't want to go there <laughs> at the moment because you're, you're stopping yourself from going there. Yeah. It's like you're telling yourself, I, I want the light. But I'm enjoying what I'm doing here. Yeah. And that sounds a bit over the top, but uh, yeah. But you've got to find that door to get you to the light because it will change you uh, for the better and it will change you for or to the person that you're meant to be. And then that person that comes out will find the doors, the path, uh, the, the people and other things that you require. It's just like you, it's, you just, you're just feeling around. It's like you, you can't even feel the walls because that expanse of darkness around you is, it's like you're in a, a massive cave. Yeah, and you're just not, you just don't know how to get out of it. Yeah, you know, this, this moment in time, you know, it's like you're giving up, but don't give up. Yeah, don't give up on something that, um, that you need to be doing. There are people out there, and they're, they're actually putting their hands into the darkness with you to try and pull you out. It's like they're putting, taking themselves into that to pull you out. It's like how we'd say as well, like you're in a quagmire, you're, you're in a, you just can't find it. The door is, yeah. Once you start understanding yourself, the door will basically appear in front of you. Yeah. But you need to start writing things down, 
starting to, but I don't just see that. I, I see other bits as well. There's, there's a lot of, I know what you said a minute ago about this, because you spoke about spirit and um, the ghosts and everything. I'm assuming also that it's something you do as a hobby or not a hobby. It might be part of your business. I don't know. But it, it you know, ghost hunting, like you said on when you're on comments, I should say, you know, that's quite good. But you have to be careful in how you go about it. You have to protect yourself because there might be something that's attached itself to you. Yeah, and you don't know. So you need to be careful, get somebody to cleanse you or something, to take something off of you. Because if you don't, you're gonna be walking around with this thing on your back. Yeah, and it, it won't be you, the original you, that's doing everything, it'll be this, because it's stronger than who you are. Okay. But uh, I'm going to leave it there. I hope that resonated with yourself, Doug. That was a bit of a strange one, but I'm grateful that I did it. And uh, I hope that, uh, like I say, resonated with yourself and uh, let us know with some feedback. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming through and uh, have a good night. I've been up in Scotland there. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your night. Yeah, thank you. Um, I must say, I am amazed and so happy with the people that are on here and then the support that they've shown Doug through their comments. Uh, I just, it, it really, my heart is just, you know, I give my heart to everyone out there. I, I just think it's fantastic. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you've seen the comments, Paul, but... No, I'm seeing them now, yeah. Everybody has said something in support of Doug, and that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is what we're all about here as well. Yeah. Um, just being, you know, part of a big family. We come on. It's not just the readings. It's having a laugh, uh, having a talk together, raising our vibrations. Yeah. Um, and, and, and now I understand why, why I said what I said. Because yes. it's in, it in the dark and he's he, he's, he just can't get out. But like I say, when, once you get to that, once you start to go again, like you've just said, right, you'll be fine. You know, do do the go and do this ghost hunting or whatever you want to do. You know, get out there and start doing the things that you want to do again. And and I'm assuming the person uh, you've just lost will appreciate you carrying on you know because you've got to live your life too so yeah but thank you for letting us read you yes and i, I just saw what doug does i wouldn't mind having checking your page out maybe if you want to send me a link in it in it to our page in messenger and um i'll check you out doug yeah. <laughs> maybe you can do a reading for me <laughs> do yeah, you know yeah. When someone does readings, like I do readings for people, I can't do one on myself. And you, you'll find that you can't even do it on a very, very close family members or people that you love. Uh, and it's because you're so invested in them and in yourself that you become blind. You don't see the clear picture on the reading that you do. And most people that do readings will go to someone else if they want a reading. Uh, yeah, so, um, okay, I'll, I'll write that down. I'll have to check it out. Mm. No, it's, yeah, it, it's just sometimes you have to listen. Yeah, that's what I was getting as well, you know. You, you have that. But at the moment, it just seems to be everything has been, it's basically everything's been put on hold. <coughs> everything's, it's like everything's been put on hold. Um, but you'll be you'll be fine. You'll get back. You'll get back to it. We all have these moments, you know. Like you know, this is why like we uh, we say people do come back, and uh, and just for the for the 
energy lift. It's amazing how many people go away happy or, or at least, you know, better than they were when they came on. Yeah. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yep. That's what we're here for, Doug. That's what we're here for. Yep. Good. Good. Get yourself out there again. Yes, definitely. Because a lot of people are waiting on you. There are so many people that you can help, Doug. No, and there are, there, there are. Yeah, to help yeah. as many people as we can. Yep. Definitely. Oh, was she? Yeah, I can understand why. Um, and you know, and she, she'll always be with you, always. Mm. Oh, but, uh, that's really nice, Laurie. I'm glad. I'm glad that it helps you too. And it's nice too. So, look, sometimes people don't say much in the comments and they're not really after a reading. They just come on just to participate in the conversation and that's fantastic. I love that. That's, you know, sometimes for me that's even better than the readings because you, you have that interaction with everyone and, and everyone else interacts with everyone. Yes, I'm good. That's good, Doug. And I'm going to come and check out your page too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Now, the next one I've got uh, before us is Donna, Donna Plant. So, Donna, if you could let me know, please, that you're still here. Yes, exactly, Angie. Um, if you could let me know that, that you're still here uh, think, while I'm waiting Donna to hear comment, is she? I think so. I I'm just sure wanted to make sure because sometimes people have gone and yeah, yeah. um yeah okay yeah. uh just so that everyone knows uh we do have a youtube channel of which i've pinned the link to in the comments we go live on there every week you if you click on the link and subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified you can join us when we go there it's sort of same similar setup to this and the comments, but yeah, just a um, another way that uh, we can help people and reach more people. Oh, you're there, great. Now, Donna, I don't remember because I think you were on here on Thursday when we were last on, yeah. and I don't remember what I pulled out for you. Normally, after the readings, I just forget everything because <laughs> you, you're you're yeah. sort of like channeling. And um, and then you kind of, that's it. You don't remember what you've done. But I'll tell you what I've pulled out for you now. So I'm sorry if it's the same thing, but it's it means that, you know, you, you need to work on this thing. Now, what I've got for you is turning the page, right, to turn the page. And, of course, with tur turning the page, it is starting a new cycle, but I'm getting from this particular one that this time, let love be what is going to guide you in this cycle. Go in it with love. So let go of too much thinking. Use love to guide you and be honest with yourself. Uh, be honest with your feelings. Be honest with your intuition your gut instinct you're so many times that we know what or what people tell us we have to do but you need to listen to yourself following what other people tell us that's part of their journey that's part of their experience everybody's path is different so you need to be honest with yourself and follow your heart this time in this new cycle I can't remember if it was the same what I pulled out for you last time, but that's what I've got. But I'm also getting from here that you have um, loved ones that you have that have passed uh, are coming through to tell me that they're doing fine. Um, they're doing fine and to let go of the worries and they leave you a lot of love and blessings. So that's what I've got for you, Donna. So I, I hope that that resonated with you. I'm not sure if it's similar to last time, but I'll be interested to know. Mm. Um, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can get. But uh, as, as I said at the start, when you, when you came on, we, it's very difficult to do too much 
because spirit, they just put a brick wall up and say, you've had this, you, you should be doing this already. <laughs> you know, I know it sounds a bit harsh, but it's the way spirit world work. But uh, let's see what we can get anyway. Let's see what we can get for you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's happened already. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's see. Come on. Yeah. But that's what, they've done it. They've just put a brick wall straight up in front of me. <laughs> because you, you had a big reading the other day. Yeah. Oh, but no, they're showing me something. They're showing me something. <clears throat> right? They're showing me a, a baby carriage, like uh, a pram. If someone's having a baby or just about to have a baby, yeah, <clears throat> and you're around you, somebody around you is just about to have a baby, okay? But I do believe it, ooh, it's it's not close, but it's within the next. It's 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 there. It's, somebody's going to have a baby within the next three four months, I would say. Yeah, and uh, it's like a grandparent type thing. Yeah, grandparent who's going to be a grandfather and a grandmother. I don't know if it's the first time that they're going to be a grandmother and father, but it'd be amazing because that person will bring that little child will bring so much love to a lot of people. Okay. And uh, what a lot of people don't realize that baby already has a spiritual side in it. And a lot of people don't like to hear that, but that's that baby is going to be really, really special. It's going to have a couple of, I'll get he, well, or this baby is going to have a lot of problems at the, in, in the middle, as they always do, and then it'll be fine. But from a baby up to a teenager, little blip, and back on it. It won't leave him or her, but it'll be amazing. It'll be amazing. Because I do, I believe he'll do something similar. I keep saying he, so it's going to be a he. Um, yeah, this this little kid is going to be fine and enjoy. Yeah, but you've got to keep smiling. It's not, it's not, uh, you know, it's not the end of the world when someone calls you a grandma. It's just, it's just something that uh, everyone goes through. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, that's all they seem to be giving me at the moment. I do apologise, Don uh, Donna. Um, but we might have to, you know, you can still come on, but we might have to leave the read inside for a bit, you know, <clears throat> because it's a bit unfair on yourself, um, giving you the same readings all the time. But it doesn't mean she can't. You can't come on, Donna, and join. Oh, no, no, that's, that's what that's what I just said. Yeah, no, that's, <laughs> that's what that's what I just said. She can come on, yeah. and, and and participate in everything else. But the reading side, yeah. we'll just yeah. have to leave for a while. Yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll be fine on that. Yeah, and I and we know Donna will understand because she's all, she's okay. She's okay. She's she's been with us for a while, so she'll understand. Yeah, you just got to start working on these things that we said to you um, over the last few few readings that we gave. Yeah, <clears throat> but you take care on that one. I hope I hope it resonated with yourself. By the way, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like it did from her comments. Yeah, yeah, but uh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. We love everybody that comes here, but if if we're giving everyone a reading every five minutes, you, you're just gonna you're just gonna lose. You know, you, you're not gonna get any more after a while. Yeah. So, but thank you, thank you to everyone. Yeah. Yes, thank you. 
Now, you can... we've had a couple of new people come on. I haven't seen them before. Um, Danielle and there was another lady, Kath. Let me know if you'd like me to put you on the list. I, you do? <laughs> All right, Danielle, I'll, um, I'll put you on. Um, <laughs> now, I have got a few on the list already. So you please stay on and I will do my best to get through everybody that I've got on this list. You're most welcome, Angie. I've still got you on the list, Angie. So please stay on. Um, I'm writing surnames because I did a big boo-boo last time. So I'm just fixing it to make sure I don't do it again. Yes, Kath. Okay. Right. Now, Ange, hookings. Because <laughs> we've got another Ange on here. So I want to make sure. Uh, Ange, good. Thank you, Angie. Um, Angie, are you still on? Because I've pulled out a card for you. So while Ange, we're waiting to hear from Ange to make sure she's still on, just to let everyone know that especially the newcomers that have come on, I have pasted or posted and pinned a comment with the link to our YouTube channel, which we go on every week and we go on live like we do here. And we'd love it if you come and join us. You so see, if you click on the link, subscribe, and click on the bell so you get a notification when we go on, uh, that'll be fantastic. So we can have you join us when we do go, and we do go on every week. I will actually, I won't do it yet. I'll wait towards the end. I will post the link to this one's Paul's page, The Psychic Touch. Yep. I'm on Enchanted Oracle Readings. And I'll post a link to my page, but you can reach both of us on this page. Um, we'll both get the messages. So yeah. it doesn't yeah. matter. You don't have to try and remember which pages. <gasps> yes, I can see you, Ange. <laughs> oh, she's turned up. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's there. Yeah, yeah. Now, Ange, this is what I've got for you. Now, I've, I've pulled out the Accepting Challenges card. Mm. And... This is all about not getting worked up, not having anxiety eat you up, but accepting the challenges that are put in your way, accepting them and trusting your inner or gut feeling. Everyone says it different. Gut feeling, your intuition, your heart. Trust that as to what to do. Don't listen to other people. Don't ask other people. Because asking other people and getting all different answers, it's just confusion plus. And, and it'll be another the same lesson and you'll be learning it all over again. And uh, then you come to the end of it and it's, you're just in the same situation. So this is telling me that you need to accept your challenges, but trust yourself with how to deal with it. Listen to yourself. Pull from past experiences You'll know. And then, you know, when you think of what to do, you'll know whether it feels right or if it doesn't feel right. No, it, this doesn't feel right. You've got to listen to that. Uh, people can get really confused when they listen to a lot of other people and um, you, you're just following what they would do. And it might be right for them, but it's not right for you. Now, I, um, it's all about receiving because I've got for you as well that you have prosperity coming to you, not just in monetary, uh, but also in your health, your circumstances, the opportunities. It's all, it's all there. It's just waiting for you to open yourself to receive it. But when we're stuck in a cycle, we can't, we just can't, we've closed it out. And that's what I'm feeling has happened to you. I think you need to let go of what the feelings that or what you're getting from other people. You also need to not care. Don't have the approval addiction. Don't feel like you need approval from other people as to what you're going to do. If it feels right to you, who cares? That's all that matters. 
and also not to worry. Um, there may be gossip or innuendos that may be happening around you. You need to cl close your eyes to that. These are what the challenges are. These are put in your way because your prosperity is right there, almost touching you. But usually when something like that is happening, we are faced with challenges to say, let's see if she learned her lesson. Let's see. And this is what this is at the moment. So you just have to not care. You worry about yourself. I, um, I'm getting here as well. You need to open yourself to meeting new people. I know sometimes we're closed within a certain group, but we can't rely on particular people to make us happy. We need to rely on ourselves. We need to be able to make ourselves happy. And I just feel like you need probably more of a, a larger network just so that you have like, you know, it's not just, you know, you get a mix of characteristics and that also is part of your your growth so i i hope that that resonates with you Ange, and uh that it helps you you done yeah yes yes no 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 i was just listening i thought we we're going for an hour then <laughs> I just felt like I had to give, sometimes no, no. I don't have much, but this time it was just, yeah, no, it that's, just that's, comes. That's yeah. fine, that's fine. But um, I know, because I know Anne, Ange, Anne, Ange, you know, well, I might not get a lot from it anyway. So, you know, you basically said what I'm most probably going to say anyway. Uh, but Ange, as I've said to you before, yeah, look, Look at where you are, yeah, look around and just look at all those people that are, you know, got their heads in the sand, okay? That's you. <laughs> You're one of those people. I know it sounds a bit rude, but that's what you're doing. You're sticking your head in the sand and not listening, okay? to what what is in here okay um you are a special person to a lot of people okay i like our chats when we do have them yeah and um you know you you seem to open up when when we meet because you're in my energy which i'm which i'm grateful for Okay, and uh, you know it's nice when when you do that, but as Sylvana said, you've got to start believing in yourself. Well, like I said, you've got to start believing in yourself and start to move these things forward. You know, because if it, if you don't, you're just going to be stuck. You know, I do see I do see things like move, moving. I saw, you know, I see things like moving house, you know, don't, the the area that you move to will be a lot calmer than where you are now, okay? I, and that's another one that, you know, you need to think about a lot. You know, we can give you the words, but you've got to, you've got to move it forward yourself. But if you stay in one place, you're not going to go anywhere. You know, you, you're not going to, you're not going to live the, the rest of your life where you should be. You know, you're just going to, you're just basically doing what everybody else is telling you as, you know, I think I've said before, but uh, yeah, you are a special person. So you keep going and uh, we will meet in the park one day. I, we just keep missing each other at the moment. Um, but you have a great night, and I know that we'll we'll most probably talk about this again soon. <laughs> but uh, you, like I say, you you've got to start believing that you can do better than what you're doing at the moment. Yeah, and uh, 
yeah, it's all, it's all in here. Okay, and he, here. Yeah, and that goes for everybody, you know. If you want to go somewhere, you've got you've just got to make sure that you you don't just sit in a in a room and go, you know, I can't do this. And t- instead of telling everybody else, just go and do it. Yeah, just go and do it. Just go and en- go and enjoy it. Go and enjoy that journey. Just go and enjoy it. Because as I've said to a lot of people already, a lot of people miss who you are. I know some are a bit um, nasty sometimes, but they're just jealous of who you are. That's all. They're just jealous of who you are. But, uh, yeah, but you take care. And like I say, we'll catch up another day and see what happens. But uh, thank you to Angela, Angela, or Ange. Yeah, thank you. And uh, it looks like it's resonating because there's plenty of hearts there. Thank you. Is that from Ed? Uh, yeah. Are the hearts yeah. from Ed? <laughs> I, think, I think so. Thank you. <laughs> I think she's got a finger stuck. <laughs> Get it off. I can't get it off. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> uh, I just want to say hello to Chloe. I think this is Chloe's first time on here. I have put you on the list, Chloe. I've got quite a few people on there already, um, but I have written you on there. We'll see how we go. Um, and thank you so much for joining us. I have a feeling you know Andrew. <laughs> uh, Geraldine. Um, I'm, I can put you on the list, but I'm not sure because I think I've done them for you each time you've come on. And I was just saying to someone else earlier, sometimes because if we do one every couple of days, it can get confusing because we get guided to give you clarification and guidance on particular areas. And if you haven't worked on that, it um, we may get confusing messages or we'll get exactly the same thing. I remember someone else, I got exactly the same thing um, that was on another live. Um, if you still want, yeah, she does. Yeah, I had a feeling. Um, let me know. You still, I can put you on, but I don't, um, the list is already, there's quite a few people on there. Uh, let's see how we go. Now, I just want to make sure that Stacy Ann is still on because uh, I've pulled out a card for Stacey Ann. Okay. I've written you down anyway, Geraldine. We'll see how we go because there's quite a few people on there already. Um, And when we do readings as well, it takes, because we really tap into you, uh, and I I use the cards, but I still tap into you, and it does take a lot of energy as well. Hi, Nina. Hello, Nina. Oh, you're there, Stacey Ann. Yeah, I know I haven't said hello to everybody, but I'm going to say it now. I was just having a quick look look through the comments. Hello, everybody. You know, um, hope you're all great. And thank you for joining us on our little show. Yeah, thank you. And and, um, supporting us. Yeah, thank you. And joining our little family, as it were, which is getting, you know, which is a great thing because we have a laugh, a joke, some chats and, yeah. And, and lift your energy as best we can before you yeah. leave. Yeah, before we yeah. leave. I'm sure it was for the night. But and, thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> um. oh, what? Hello, Fred. Hello. Yes, Hello, uh, sorry, I was laughing at that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, Kath, I've got you on the list, but you're a little bit further down. Yeah. Now, um, Stacey, Hello, is Fred. There? Just before I start, Stacey Ann's, uh, we've got a few new people that have come on now, and I just want to let everyone know that I have pinned a comment with our the link to our YouTube channel, and we go on live on there every week. If you'd like to participate, join in with us on YouTube, just click on the link and subscribe and click on the bell so that you get notified when we go on. Um, it is randomly, 
So that way at least, oh, they're on and you can come on and join us and have a chat and everything with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Different platform. We try and, we're trying to get to as many people as we can, you know. So we're trying to use as many platforms, you know, that we can to reach as many people as we can, you know. Um, and if you can follow us over there, all the better. Be nice. Thank you. Um, yeah. But even on here, it's, it's just nice. Whoever turns up. Thank you. Yeah. Well, that's how we're going to go away, Kath. Big smiles. Big smiles. Big, lots of happiness. Yeah, lots of laughter. Lots of, yeah. Going, you know, better thoughts, as it were. Yeah. But we do our best. Yeah. For you. Yeah. So thank you. And thank you for that comment, Ange, by the way. Yeah. So who's up next? Ah. Stacey Ann. I, I pulled out a card, but I actually. Um... I feel like I've really connected with you. I've got the Celebrate Life card that's come out for you. Oh. <laughs> I'm just getting with you, Stacey Ann, that it says Celebrate Life, but I don't think you are. I think maybe you are, but superficially. This has come through to say to celebrate it with your whole heart. I feel like I had some something similar to someone earlier. I feel that um, you're you're hiding yourself in here, and what you show to other people, it's not your true self, and you need to nurture your person in here. I'm sorry, I've, I'm pointing like this, but it, that's how I've, I'm feeling and how it's coming to me. It's like I, I need to open and let you out. And I feel that, yes, you're, you're not really, you may be too close to people, but I feel like you're not being your true self and you're, you're hiding it. You, they, but it's um, it all surrounds like a fear of something. I'm being told that... Um, you know, you're supplied with everything. You have everything that you need. There's nothing that you need to fear. And um, you need to nurture your the real person that you are and bring them out. And enjoy and celebrate your day-to-day -day life. It's But enjoy it as yourself. So I hope that that resonates with you, Stacey Ann. Um, Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just trying to see if I can feel something else, but it's just the same type of feeling. Okay. So I, I hope that that resonates and that that helps you. I'll be interested um, to to just to get um, see if, if that did resonate. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. Um, Stacey Ann's new to the. To the show, yeah. The she's a new new member of the family, as we say. Um, the, the first thing I got with you is writing books, yeah, learning. Okay, it's a, and what I got with that was there's a was a new job of some sort that you want to do. But you need to do all this learning to, to take that job. It's like you want to move up positions. Okay. It's like you're looking for something that's better than where you are. Okay. Because you feel in yourself that you're better than what, what you are. Yeah. You hot as Savannah said, I know I'm I'm just taking little bits because it's it's like one reading altogether um it's like you do hide away because you want to do these things but you're scared of where it will take you 
you're scared of what people will think. Don't worry. Yeah, you're strong enough to do this. You are strong enough to take it on. You're strong enough to take that that uh, that challenge. Because if you take this challenge, the next challenge won't be so difficult. Because this this is going to be a big challenge. Okay, this is going to be a big challenge for you. Yeah, if you don't, if but if you don't take that challenge, it's going to take longer. And the older you get, you'll be that position won't go. Oh, that will go. I should say that position that you that you want will go away from you, and then you'll lose out. Okay, but you now have to learn and listen and progress with who you are and what you are and where you're going to go. Yeah, I also see. There are spirit around you too, yeah? And they will, they will guide you if you want them to guide you, okay? But I also know that you're looking for, you know, like, I don't know, you're looking for things that are easy so you get through these challenges easy, yeah? They're not going to be, we always get even we get them, even we get these hard challenges, yeah? But I know that, yeah, yeah, we all go through them, but once you come out the other side, every, the more challenges you do, the better it becomes, like I said a minute ago, you know, the harder the challenge at the start, the easier it gets. And then you will come up against other hard challenges, but you'll know how to deal with them the further you go. Yeah, but believe in yourself because doubt kills, as they say, okay? Because this is a second chance that you've been given, okay? And this second chance is your angels, your spirit, um, the spirits around you that are saying, come on, you can do this. And there is also somebody who passed away a while ago that stands beside you and they're trying to get you to come on. They're even placing things in your in your eye line, but sometimes you miss them. Okay, you're missing these little bits. I know we all look for money, but the money will come with it. It's not all about the money. It's all about... Um, other things as well, because you doing what you do will help somebody else, will help somebody else, and that person will help somebody, and that other person will, and, and it will just spread, yeah? So you've got to keep smiling. You've got to take yourself out of your comfort zone and take that leap of faith, yeah? And just go with it and just enjoy it, you know? If it doesn't work out, and it, 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 you don't go nowhere, at least you've tried. But then you'll know what to do next time or where all the, where all the little problems were. And you, you'll, you'll be able to go, yep, there you go. I can do it now because I've done it once already. So it, it'll be easier the next time. <laughs> yeah, but you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You've just got to believe in yourself and, and understand that, for everybody, life isn't a bed of roses. You know, we just have to take things on the chin sometimes and, uh, yeah, go with it. So thank you. I hope that uh, resonated with yourself, Stacey Ann. I really, you know, because I enjoyed that one. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you. <sighs> there we go. So thank you. Thank you for joining us. You there? Yes, I just want to say good night, Ange. Ange is going to bed and oh. you're most welcome, Stacey Ann. And I want to say thank you to Angie 
um, Angie Aldridge. She's um, she's she's getting our message across in regards to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Thank you for yeah. that. Yeah. And uh, I know we've got a few more people on. Um, Amy McDonald, I have you on the list. Um, I didn't see whether Laurie wanted a reading or not. Laurie was on Laurie Day. Um, we do yeah. have quite a few people already on. Uh, yeah. So I'll do my best. <coughs> you must be in Melbourne, Chloe. Oh, yeah, because mm. of Andrew, I just realised. <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, Chloe is... Uh, family with Andrew. So I've got you on the list too, Chloe. So I'll do my best to get through this list. And actually, Angie Aldridge, you're next. So I've pulled out cards for you. Yes. That, um, no, you. no. Yeah, I'll, it's I'll, I'll another lorry. Yeah, it's another lorry, Laurie. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, uh, what's your surname? Uh, lorry Day. So okay. I'm just waiting to hear whether she wants one. No, yeah. So I know that's why I've been writing surnames now because I was just getting everyone confused. <laughs> no, no, I, I haven't seen all these messages. So you, you, you're going through them. I, I just want to say thank you again to um, Ange, Ange, who's gone to bed, and now Angela that's doing our YouTube channel promotion. Thank yes. you. Yes. <laughs> you're thank right, you so Angie's much. Secretary. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, that's it. That's it, Paul. I've yeah. got someone to replace you. <laughs> oh, cheers! Thanks. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, yeah. Don't but, worry, uh, Laurie. I'm talking to Laurie Lynn. Don't worry. That's why I've been writing surnames now because I was getting confused. No, it's all good. Don't don't, don't apologize. Um, thanks, Natalie. Yeah, well, uh, and it, it's uh, nice that we're we're getting all these wonderful, wonderful new people coming on and saying hello and 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 uh, joining us on our wonderful, you know, wonderful um, family on our little yeah. show that we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before yeah. I do Angie's reading, um, I just want to let everyone know that. Sometimes in the comments, we are, are asked particular questions if we can see certain things. This is just general. If there are certain areas that you want us to focus on, you are most welcome to book a private reading with us. The psychic touch here is Paul's page, but I have my own page of, what, of which I'll post a link to, but we can both see messages on here if you send us a private message. Yeah. To book a reading with us, you will actually have us devoting our time just for you and we will be focusing just on you and we'll be looking at the areas that you want to know about. So sometimes what I, we pull out does relate to your question, but you, just so you know and you don't get disappointed, it is mainly something general. I've also posted, uh, well, I've pinned the um, the link to our YouTube channel yes, in the yeah. comments there, which we do go on live every week. Yeah. And I, uh, so if, you, if you'd but, like to join us on there, just uh, click on there and subscribe and click on the bell so you'll get a notification when we do go on. Sorry, yeah. Paul, what were you saying? No, I was, I was just about to say um, in, in a comment to what you said or um, where, where I say... Um, we get uh, on our little mini readings here, you know, you get what you um, need, not what you want, because a lot of people do come on or go, yeah, go, on, go to psychics or whatever, and they, they don't realise that the spirit, it's their choice to come through or not. Yeah. And if they do come through and they give, a, you know, whatever they're giving is what you're supposed to be getting on that day or for that week or you know that that message might help you for the next six months you know so you might have to keep enduring our our videos to keep going back over the part that we do for you you know um just so that you get the go through that way but as i say you get what you need not what you want because yeah uncle frank's not always going to come through <laughs> um you know, that's why we do. For, that's that's why we do. Uh, 
ask if you like a reading with us. You know, go to our to our uh, pages and and uh, um, you know send send us an email or whatever, and we'll we'll go from there. You know, for a full reading or. Chloe, um, but thank you. I'm the one I'm doing now, and then there's one I'm doing now, and then there's one, two, three, four, and then your fifth. I and I'm so sorry that you're down there. I, I'm just putting it in order that people come on, so it's fair. But you you can if you subscribe to our or click on our pages and like them, at least you'll get notified. If I don't make it to you that um, next time we go on, if you come on straight away and I can put your name on the list, or you can um, click and subscribe to our YouTube channel and come on there. There's usually not as many people on there. Um, so if you subscribe to the channel, you'll be notified when we go on, usually on Tuesdays, or sometimes we change the day. It's just quite random. So I'm sorry, Chloe. If you can stay on, that'll be fantastic. You are still on the list, Anne. You're actually after Angie. Um, so I'm just going to do Angie because she's been waiting patiently. Uh, so I'll just uh, let you know what I've got. I'll just take a second, sorry, because I've just yes. gone out of the focus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, then. Let, let's see. Who we got next? Ange, Angie. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, our All secretary. Right. Yes. Our promotion. <laughs> yeah. All right. Angie, for you, I've pulled out the butterfly maiden. And this is all about transformation. Now, you are experiencing um, an, an, an enormous change right now. And, um, but it, it, it's actually a change that brings you great blessings. It is something really good and amazing. Um, you need to have faith. Um, I'm being told that you need to have faith that your change will will come as it's needed and you will have help there for you as you need it. Um, also for you to have courage while you go through this, um, sometimes going through a change, I'm just trying to tap into whether it is something spiritual. I feel that it may be. Uh, you know, sometimes it can be scary. You know, if you experience something, even with myself in the beginning, when I used to know what was going to happen to someone, it would just come in my head, but I wouldn't say it to them and then it would happen. And um, you think, oh, wow, you know, it can be a little bit scary. Um, so don't be scary and also have the courage to bring your transformation out. Um do things to exercise and evolve it. The timing is actually now. Now is when you would actually start taking the steps. So I'm not sure whether you've had already something in mind that you want to do. Um, you're a very positive person, very positive. I'm getting that from you. Um, you're a go-getter. And this, you know, this will be fantastic for you, especially in your transformation now. Um, everyone and everything in your life will support you. It may not even seem like it is directly, but things will happen. Actions that they do, maybe a word that they say will just give you that lift or that inspiration to um, give you a certain idea or, oh, yeah, that just it, that word might mean something else that they've just said, but it's clicked something in your head to think, yeah, I was thinking about that before. Ah, oh, it just makes that look much better. I'm going to do it this way. Uh, you just need the courage. Don't doubt yourself. The what you're feeling within yourself, your intuition, your inner self, what you're feeling there, it's the right way. That will never lie to you. You just need to be open and listen to it. Listen and look. So I hope that helps you, Angie. Um. It is, okay, yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, so I think this is what this means. And it's not to be afraid of it. You're already, like, your attitude and your character, your persona, you're in the best place to go through this within yourself. You've already been prepared. With your life experiences, you have already been moulded and prepared. So you don't worry. You won't be given things that you can't handle. And even if they feel that you you feel like you can't handle, there will be help coming to you. It's like earth angels or people around you. Someone will say something that somehow brings you on the right track. Something will come in your head and you'll think, oh, and, you know, it just puts you back on the right track or it helps you. It gives you that nudge as to something perhaps you may have been doubting. So I hope that helps you, Angie. Finish, Paul. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I was going to think. Yeah. Um, hello, Angie. I've got Ange and then Angie. Yeah. Hello, Angie. Um, yeah. The first thing I got with you is meditation. Okay. To calm your, your, your thoughts down and to calm you down from all day things. But you've got a great you've got a great attitude to yourself. So I'm assuming that you've done you've done this before, or are doing this already. You know, you've got that attitude of I'm an amazing person. I'm going to go places. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And you're that kind of person that will take yourself there. Okay, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's like you want to take yourself there and you will take yourself there. And it's like, if I want to go and buy a new bike, I'll go and buy a new bike. You know, if I want this, I want that, I will buy it. You know, it's like you're, you've got a, an energy bubble around you that amazes a lot of people, okay? Some people don't see it because you hide it away. You tend to hide within sometimes. It's like you, it's like your you change um, your persona. It's like you're oh I'm happy, and then you push back, and you can't you you can't push yourself forward out of it. You know, you know you want you want to push forward, but you just keep throwing yourself backwards. But now you've got to start to lift and start thinking on places that you should be, okay? There will be some ideas that come up for things that you want to do, okay? But then you've got to choose which one to take, which one you're drawn to. If you're drawn to the, you know, whatever one you're drawn to, go for it if you want to. You know, like I say, we, we give you the wording, but you have to, you have to make the choices. You know, we, we can only um guide you you know with that's all we can do we can only guide you in that in that way but you're a special person anyway uh, who's the, I, I can see a little person that stood beside you okay like a little it's like a little i don't know it's like a little boy little little girl hang on you know there's two there's a boy and a girl but i do believe one's from the spirit world and one isn't but i do believe one of them stands beside the the other child. I don't know if one of them's been talking about a little friend that they that they talk to. You know how you have that that um, like an imaginary friend that stands beside somebody. Yeah, it's like they're standing beside them, but they're not hurting them. They're just walking with them. They're helping them. They're guiding them. It's like their little spirit guide. Okay, that's helping them. So whoever you know. Whoever this the the physical child is, okay, they must. I do believe that they do see spirit, okay, and they and they notice because whoever it is sits on the beds of the whole household, okay. It's like they sit on the beds. <laughs> it's yeah, and they sit there, but they. But they're there as a because they've got a nice persona as well. They've got a nice calming 
calming energy around them. So when if you're in a bad way, okay, um, they'll go from the, the child to yourself or to the, to the to the others that are in the household, just so that you're all lifted, you know, and they'll hold your hand. But then they will play some trick. He'll, he'll play some tricks as well. He'll hide things. I don't know why he's telling me, right? He's actually telling me, right? About a set of keys that went missing, <laughs> and and then they, you know, he just hid them because he didn't want you to leave. He didn't want you to go. He didn't want you to go. He wanted you to stay there. Yeah because he enjoys your company. Even though he comes with you, at this moment in time, it was you were going to work or you were going somewhere that he wanted to be with you, but he couldn't at that moment because something was holding him back. But, you know, it's always there. It's always there. But you have got, you know, this little, wow. It, your house is a very spiritual house too because I do believe that there's angels there and everything like that. But again, what I, was, what I was just saying about holding, you're holding things back. Yeah. You need to start opening your eyes to these because this will start to help him. Call, not call out, but ask, ask his name and he'll, he'll work with you as well. He'll work with you and, and your guides or because I, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting spiritual big time here. Because there's angels there, there's everything. Okay, and it's, it's an amazing gift. Go with it, enjoy it, and have fun with it where you can. And look for the. I don't know. I'm, I'm being told look for the man with the black bag. Yep, he's an important person, yeah, but I just get told, look for the man with the black bag. Mm. Yeah, I hope that resonated with yourself, Angie. I could, I could have kept going, but we're going to, we've got a lot of others to come in. And uh, yeah, I hope that, in, yeah, okay with what I said there, but let's just say it's, let's see where it, yeah, where it takes you. As I say to everybody, keep smiling, keep going, keep being you, you know, with a few tweaks here and there. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, Angie. Thank you. <sighs> yep. uh, you're most welcome. You're most welcome, Angie. Mm -hmm. I um I Michaela, I have put you on the list. There's a lot of people on it. I'm going to do my best to get through it. Um, you're most welcome to book a reading with us. You can message this page. I'll put a link to my page as well, Enchanted Oracle Readings. We can both see the messages that come through for this page. It, it'll just guarantee that we focus on you. You have a proper reading, a lengthy reading and uh, with, you know, the clarification and guidance that you need. Uh, just on these lives sometimes, even though I've got you on the list, especially when it's long, sometimes I can't get through it all, but I have put you on there. I can see that there's a few more people that have come on and I just want to let everyone know that we do go on YouTube every week and I have pinned the link to our YouTube channel in the comments if you'd like to join us on there, we don't usually get that many people on there, so you'd probably have more of a chance as well. Uh, subscribe and click the bell so you get a notification when we go on. But I've pinned it on the comments so it's easy to see. Um, okay, so what I, I just want to make sure Anne English is still on. And I'm saying the surnames because... So many people have the same Christian name, the surname, you know, the first name. So, yeah, okay, great. Just stay on. I mean, but I don't, I don't know. There's quite a few people on here. 
And um, but yeah, just want to make sure Anne English is still on because um, I've pulled out a card for you, Anne. So we'll just give her a moment. But um, yeah, it's been fantastic and having a chat with everyone. We were having all oh, the discussions we were having earlier on were quite funny. The um, ghost trains and things. Yeah. I just can't believe <laughs> that you find Freddy Krueger and Nightmare on Elm Street funny. That oh, movie he's, he's terrifies hilarious. me. That <laughs> movie it. terrifies me. I, I, and you laugh on the ghost train. Yeah. Yeah, they're funny. But I just want to say thank you, Angie, Angie, for the, the great messages. Thank you. Thank you yes. for the feedback. And thank you, Angie. She's been um, reposting about our YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Anne's on. But, now, Anne. Oh, yeah. That'll be interesting. You know, Angie, keep in touch and let us know. We always love it. We get um, we get a lot of feedback from people that we have done a reading for and they tell us, you know, and, and it feels so good even for people that used to do something and somehow we, we've said something to them that or the message we've given them has inspired them to pick up things and do it again. And I just love that. And Paul and I, we talk about it and it's just fantastic. That's actually, that's soul food for us. Definitely, that, definitely. It, yes, it just fills us up with so much love. It feeds us to know that we've inspired someone to pick themselves up and either tap on something they used to do that they loved or go, you know, go into a new cycle and do something new. And, and I just love it. I really do. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you so much. Um, Andrew that's um, on here at the moment commenting is a energy healer and he is fantastic. He's actually, he can do energy healing remotely and he, he, even though he doesn't live far from me, he's done one for me remotely and it's fantastic. So um, I would recommend, it's, it's Andrew Coutet, I hope I said it right, Andrew, energy healer. Um, if you go to his page, you'll see he does some great stuff. Yes. Um, um, we're hoping, uh, you know, he's helping us. So we're, we're going to say, um, you know, hope, hopefully you're going to do another video or another live for people to, to watch. Yeah, I'm looking forward to your next live, Andrew. Mm. Yeah, we'll, we'll come on and support you there, you know, uh, and then we can all get some great energy coming through as well. So wherever you go, great energies. Yeah. You know? Chloe, I, I, you know, I was actually a bit sceptical because I thought, how can you do a healing remotely? But I felt it. Do you know, I felt so good. And he told me that he paused where my knees would be. And I actually did, was having a few problems. Uh, there were, you know, I guess they've got to carry this weight. But... <laughs> But um, I was feeling, um, you know, a bit of pain in my knees and I didn't have it anymore. It's gone. Uh, so he's fantastic. He works wonders. So um, also, I think I just saw Natalie ask, where, no, who is it? Danielle? Was it Danielle that just asked where she is on the list? Yep. Um, Natalie, it's Andrew Coutet. Energy healer. Andrew, if you want, you can put a link to your page in the comments. Hang on. I'll see if I can do it because it has your face on it. Last time when you did it, it you didn't put your face on it and it looked funny. <laughs> Hang on. I'll get the link. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just like I keep saying, it's, it's so great that we have so many great oh, new people out, turning up and, and and everybody joining in and saying hello to each other. And this is how, and this is what we want. We want we want this because it helps, you know, even you, who says you're not going to make some really good friends on here? You know, you might interact with it, with somebody and, you know, if you're in, if you want to chat with them again, you, you do all the business and 
phone numbers, Skype numbers, or whatever, you know. Uh, but it's amazing what we just by talking and doing what we're doing, and we we love it to bits. We like Serena said not long ago. We go away on such a high because we've helped one person, two people, whoever, you know. Because I've seen some great comments on here tonight, encouraging, yeah, I have too. encouraging others and saying hello to others, you know. And I am so proud of you all. Thank you. Yeah, and, and, and that's every one of you. Even if you turned up late, you know, you you come into that energy. So thank you, because we want you to go away happy, whoever you are, you know. Yeah. And we want people to 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 understand that life has its pitfalls, but you can always get out of them. You know, you've just got to you've just got to take that challenge on board, and understand. Make it easy for yourself. Just put everything to one side and go, yeah, this is how I'm going to do it. Boom, boom, boom. And it works. Yeah. Natalie, okay. I've um, put a link to Andrew's page in the comments so you'll see it. Just go down to the, the newest comments. Yes, mm. I do too. It is, it's a, and it's a beautiful community, Andrew. I, I love it. I really, I love it when we go on live. But I'm sorry, Anne, you've been waiting patiently. <laughs> now, <laughs> Anne, I've pulled out cards for you before. Um, so I, I don't know whether this is going to be the same thing. Um, sometimes as well I, I get blocked because, it, you know, I, I'll um, see something and then I can't go any further because you really need to work on the last reading that you had. Um, now, what I've got for you, Anne, is that um, Yemenia which is um, there is a, an opportunity coming your way, a really good opportunity. Um, in, there's important doors that are going to be opening for you. Um, you just need to make sure that you're ready to walk through them and that's by, you will know what I mean. You've already been thinking about something and you just need to make sure you're ready, that you've prepared yourself and you've nurtured yourself your inner self as where you need to. You know where your weaknesses are, what needs to be strengthened and evolved further. But those golden opportunities are coming your way and leave yourself open to receive, but notice the signs too. You'll be given signs. Um, you just need to, and I think that's why you, you need to do the nurturing for yourself to evolve, to be ready, because it will leave you open to see the signs that are coming. Sometimes things can just appear in front of us and we don't see it. We're just focused on seeing another type of sign and we don't see the one that we've been given. But I'm also told to, throughout all of this, enjoy it. Enjoy each step, enjoy each day, and celebrate it. Like it, it, just enjoy it as the journey. Um, so that's what I've got for you, Anne. So I'm not sure if it's similar to what I last told you, but um, that's what I've got for you today, and I hope that that's helped you. And your next, and Natalie, I'm going to pull you out next. So Paul, this one was for Anne English. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. Thank you for that, Serana. Um, hello, Anne. Um, yes. Yeah. Do you know, I'm getting a bit of everything with you. <laughs> it's strange. I'm getting the butterflies. I'm getting the, I'm getting the happiness because something good's coming. Something really, really good. I don't know what it is, but you do. Okay, it's it's like you've entered a competition or something. You've won the competition, you know. And uh, <laughs> it's just, I, I, again, I can't stop stop smiling with you. But again, like a lot of people tend to do, also getting away from that bit, you tend to just push yourself backwards. You know, it's like you don't. <sighs> yeah. You push yourself backwards, but you're still smiling, yeah, because you're still in where it's going, yeah. And you, you've got to 
get yourself out of that, you know, pushing yourself away from where you're supposed to be going. Yeah, you just seem to be getting out of reach at the moment of the, the thing that you need, okay? It's like you just can't reach it, but a little tweak here and there, and those things will start to come forward for you, yeah? Little baby steps, little baby steps. There's going to be some challenges. There's going to be, what I'm seeing also, there's going to be a lot of paperwork. For some reason, there's going to be some paperwork involved, <clears throat> which it's going to need to be done before you can actually get this. Um, what's coming? But you will enjoy it. I see fireworks. I see everything. It's just going to be amazing. Are you, are you going to win the lottery or something? I hope so. You know where we are. <laughs> um, <coughs> um, no, but it, it's amazing that this is, it's going to be something that you've never experienced in your life. It's going to be so, <laughs> so brilliant. You know, that lots of people will want to know you. Yeah, lots of people will know you, want to know you. You know, you'll know who your who your real friends are. Let's put it this way. Yeah, you'll know who your real friends are. And uh, but I don't know. But I'm also seeing a little doggy. It's like a little fluffy doggy, like a white dog. Yeah, it looks really nice actually. The one that sits on your knee. Or, yeah, if it doesn't sit on your knee, it sits close. Excuse me. It sits close to you because it's your, like your little friend, as they say. It's your little friend. And this dog has a great energy around it too. I do believe that this, um, this dog has seen things that people couldn't explain, but you know, it, this is just going away from going in a different direction at the moment. But that doggy, I do believe, is something that's that has helped in a big way. Okay, has helped in a massive way. But with you, you're just wow. You just keep smiling, and I, I don't know why I get cooking as well pies. Oh, yeah, I know. They look nice. That apple pot. I get, I get, uh, like, a, I don't know why, steak and kidney pie or, or something like that. It's just pies. It's just cooking in general. You love, love, love cooking. Yeah. And it, I, I could actually eat this and, I'm, and, I, and I don't eat meat and it looks really, really nice. <laughs> but uh, yeah I know that seemed to go all over the place but you'll understand where uh, what it all means to you okay but uh, thank you Anne for coming through have a great night thank you for joining us on the show and supporting us and uh, let me know if that resonates with yourself, please. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, just keep going. Just keep going. And uh, yeah, enjoy life. Enjoy what's coming. Because <laughs> yeah, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, like I said, it just feels amazing. Yeah, so thank you, Ant. Yeah, thank you. <sighs> yeah. Uh -huh. That's yes. great. Thank you. I love cooking. That's lovely. And um, the. We'll be round for dinner. Yes, we will be round for dinner. <laughs> now, um, uh, 
Yeah. So who who have we got next? Okay. Um, Natalie, are you still on, Natalie? Natalie Hamill. Yeah, thank you for the thank you for the the great messages there, and it, mm -hmm. it's it, it, it's always appreciated. You know uh, all these great comments. Thank yeah, you. no, it's fantastic, and it's lovely. Um, you're most welcome, and it's lovely with everyone uh, joining in. Um, it's been fantastic. So yeah. uh, I'm just thank looking you. to see if Natalie is um, if Natalie is still on are you still on natalie are you still here natalie um if not we have to move on to the next and and that means someone's bumped up the line as it were we do apologize but sometimes <laughs> oh she's you know, still she's still there that's we, fine thank you fine um thank you natalie for, for waiting sometimes because yes. because we have a lot of people come on we have to you know and we don't know how long the little mini readings are going to last yeah um, exactly. we do apologize but thank you for, That's right. for staying on yes yeah, sometimes we um you know we we get um, you know, it just flows through and we feel like we've got to tell you, we've got to say everything. And then sometimes, you know, not as much comes through. But Natalie, what I've got for you is um, to uh, face your fears card. Um, and with what this is for, it's facing your fears with things that you are sensitive about. Um Sometimes there's even certain topics that we're sensitive about, all the way someone acts, uh, things that people might say, or we actually anticipate it happening, which makes us even more sensitive. So just face your fears in that and overcome it because, uh, and be, um, I'm getting from you that also or for you is that you're about unless you are already doing this, um, you're about to embark like on a, a leadership role, whether it's something to do with work or something spiritually or with your friends, because, I mean, usually even in a group of friends, that there's a, a leader of the group. People usually, even though everyone's equal, you sort of, you aspire to someone perhaps more than you would others. Um and I, I, I'm getting that um, you are that kind of person or you're, you're about to assume a role like that where you guide other people. Um, it could be something spiritually, but I, I feel that before or to do this well, you do need to overcome your fears in the sensitivity that you have in certain areas um, in certain harsh environments. So if you're in like a harsh environment or you're around people that are toxic, you need to sort that out first. You can't be a very good leader if you are not or you're having issues dealing with something like that. You also need to be honest with yourself to deal with all this. Sometimes we can even kid ourselves and think she'll be right, mate. And that's like an Australian term, but... You know, we think, oh, she'll be right, but really we need to look at these things face on, head on, and deal with them. But you are a person that does lead other people and people look to you and follow you for guidance and you need to really be your best self, the best person and not have that weight on you. Um, so you need to sort that out first. So I hope that that helps you, um, Natalie and that it resonates with you. Yeah. Yes. So, um, Paul, this is Natalie Hamill. Hamill. 
Hamil. I hope I'm pronouncing it um, Hamil. Correct. Hamil? Hamil. It's usually Paul that says it wrong and I say it right, but I think Paul's got it yeah, correct yeah. this time. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Natalie. Um, I do believe this is the first time you've been here. If it's not, we've had so many people come on in in this a long time, you know, in our shows. We can't remember everybody that turns up, but thank you. All right, let's see what we can quickly get with yourself and uh, see what, yeah. Oh dear. Nothing bad, nothing bad there. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you know the first thing I've got to say is um, keep going, right? That, that's just the the um, the main one. And I don't normally say things like this, but because we try and stay away from it, okay? It's like somebody's got a little pain in the belly. Yeah, um, but look out for that one, okay? It's, yeah, but let's move away from that. Um, with, with your, with yourself, again, it's like you're holding back. You're holding back on everything that you should be doing. Um, you are an amazing person. Just look for, look for the signs and you will be okay. There are people there that are guiding you already, but these are physical people. These people have been in your life for a while. I do believe it's like a parent, yeah? But I do believe it's the mother figure that's guided, guided you more, okay? To, to give you your life skills and that person has given you these life skills to go and do what you want, okay? But sometimes um, you thought, well, hang on a minute, I don't want to do what they did. I want to do what I do. And you are going to go and do what they, you know, you're going to do, it's like going to be a little bit of a, um, a mix and match. It's going to be like a little bit of a mix and match because you're... You're your, your own self, okay? And you will be an amazing person to a lot of people. I, I don't know why I'm getting this. It's like I'm getting care home for some reason. I'm getting care homes. You'd be very good in places like this because you've got that great persona. You've got that calming voice. You've got that, oh, come on. You, or it's a care home nurse hospital type thing. You, you'd be great in that atmosphere, okay? Because, you, like I say, you've got that calming, um, calmness inside you, which will bring people down in the sense of bring their, uh, the negative energies down in them and, and lift the, the good in them out. You know, you are just amazing. You know, you've just got, you've got to believe that you are. You've got to, it's here again. You know, you are such, you, you are going to have such a great journey and learning about this journey too. Okay. What are we looking at? Yeah, because they're showing me there's going to be a lot of writing and there's going to be a lot of, learning there's going to be a lot of learning with this too they're showing me that you i don't know why they're also showing me it's like some huh, i don't know why they're showing me this well i do but it's like you want to write a book i'm getting book with this it's like you want to write a book okay about the life of somebody that was either in your life or somebody that was around the family. You know, someone that was really, really special. Okay? But their life was so special. Even if it's only a short book, you just want you you want 
to put it out there so people also know about it. Yeah. But that will be uh, that will be a bit further in the future. Okay. But there's also going to be loads of other great things that are coming. But you will work these out once you start to find your path, as it were. I do, yeah, we know that you enjoy the spiritual side because there is a man that stands beside you, that's always there with you. And when he wants to talk to you, puts his hand on your arm, okay? And you most probably feel this, yeah? And he'll, and he'll talk to you, but he's saying, please listen to me. Come on. That's why I brought you on here, so that I can tell you. Yeah. Somebody that you knew or know of, again, it's in the family that passed, passed a while ago. Okay. It's just trying to get through to you, basically, because they're trying to help you as much as what we are and other people. Yeah. Listen to that person. Again, things do go missing, and I do believe that flowers that have died have re regrown, started to flower again. In the, in you know, and you're thinking, well, you're about to throw it out, and you think, no, nah, I'll leave it for a bit, and it starts to grow again. Yeah. And and this is what this person's showing me. So, but I'm going to leave, leave that with you. Um, I hope that resonated with yourself. You know, and uh, just. Just keep going, just enjoy it. Enjoy your life journey and everything that comes with it. Yeah, so thank you. Yeah, thank you, Natalie. And thank you for supporting us. Thank you. <sighs> yeah. Thanks, Natalie. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Danielle Mary Armstrong, can you please let me know if you're still here? Kath had to go, so I've crossed her off. Um, but yeah, Danielle, I just need to know that you're if you're on because I've pulled out a card for you. Uh, just while we're waiting to hear from Danielle, just let everyone know that I, I do have been putting everyone on the list as we go. Uh, sometimes I can't get through all the list. Uh, but you are guaranteed a reading if you book one with us. You can message this page, The Psychic Touch. We can both see the messages, or I have also pasted the links to my page as well in the comments. With the private readings, it's also private. Not everyone hears, has to hear everything, and we actually don't have to worry about what we say if it could be something that's embarrassing. Um, with these uh, private readings, you get the clarification and the guidance you need. And we can also focus on areas that you want to know about. But um, great, Danielle's still there. Fantastic. Uh, also, for all the newcomers that have come on, I have pinned a comment which has the link to our YouTube channel. We do go on there every week. If you would like to participate um, with our chats and readings, you can go there and subscribe. Click on the link, subscribe, and uh, click on the bell so you get a notification when we come on. Now, Danielle. Before you carry on, before yeah. you carry on, I just want to say thank you to Natalie for her um, uh, comments. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You're most yeah. welcome, Natalie. Okay, so Danielle. Sorry. No, 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 that's all right. So what I've got for you is return to joy. Now. Who's this for? This is for Danielle, Danielle. Armstrong. Yes. Sorry, I thought you called her Natalie then. Did I? No, I said you're most welcome to Natalie. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I? Or maybe I did. <laughs> but no, this is definitely for you, Danielle. Um, return to joy. Um, it's, it's like um, 
you know when people pass you know that you know i guess everyone has different experiences or you hear of the experiences that people have when they, they've passed and they say they go through a tunnel and there's a light and everything i'm feeling like um you've had many past like you've had many lives before you you've had many cycles of life and i feel like in this one where you've come through like a tunnel from the heavens and you you started this life but a past life is affecting your relationship with yourself now i'm feeling that you need to nurture yourself look after yourself and be kind to yourself treat yourself and you know be fair on yourself don't be so hard and be kind and gentle that's what i'm getting i'm feeling that for you to be able to return to the enjoyment of life how it you should be you need to work on the relationship that you have with yourself when you're happy with yourself and kind to yourself you actually open up the doors to attract a relationship that is worthy of you to come to you but if we don't do that you will attract wrong people the people that aren't for you before focusing on even looking for a relationship with someone else i really feel i need to tell you you need to work on yourself on your own relationship with yourself i don't know if you're into crystals but and i'm sure if andrew's still on he would agree with me it would be so good if you had rose quartz it's all about loving yourself and nurturing yourself you need to do that it's almost like you you've got to go through a healing and and even if you feel that um this healing is also part of something that you've experienced in your cycles past cycles in your past lives so i i hope that that resonates with you natalie um not i called her natalie again i'm so sorry i have natalie in my head um danielle i'm so sorry but i i do hope that that resonates with you um that it makes sense and that it helps you okay yeah righty ho mm -hmm. hello danielle um i do believe that you're a, a newcomer to the page or to our show to our little show uh thank you for coming in and supporting us um let's see what we can get with you um yeah again uh Let's see. Right, the first thing I get with you is you need to calm down. <laughs> I know I'm doing this a lot lately. I need to calm down sometimes, but uh, I get meditation with yourself, which will calm you down. Okay, but you'll you there's a music um, that you need to listen to, which will calm you. Down. Go onto YouTube. You'll find them all on there. Okay, but you need to start using, doing meditation. But I do believe someone will teach you. I do believe that you can go to somebody, and they'll teach you the proper way to to do this, and then it will help you more. Because I'm getting that you're having problems with sleep. Okay, sleeping at the moment is a problem, and it just seems to be that you're tossing and turning. All the all night, but they're all. It's about things that are going on in your life, you know. And these problems are stopping you from from getting your sleep. If you don't get your sleep, you don't um, you don't focus through the day. Okay. If you don't get your sleep, you won't focus as much as. You, you'll get through the day, but you just won't get the things done or you won't focus on what you should be doing. Okay, on these, on these little problems that you could, you could um, challenge better, that you could, um, you could get rid of basically, if, if 
you again it, it keeps coming to sleep i don't know why it just sleep yeah and this is why the meditation is going to come in because of what you need to do even just play some music before you go to bed play some calming music and and after a while you know it doesn't happen straight away after a while you'll just start to drift yeah because you you know you'll just start to drift off and you'll think wow how did i do that you know but if you think about too much it's a, it's a, I can't shut my brain down. Can't shut my brain down. But you will. Things will just happen. You know, all those problems, uh, as I said to other people, write them down in a book. Yeah, write your problems down in a book. Okay, and then take one at a time. Take the hardest one first, and then all the simple ones next. Okay, and you will find that you're life will start to turn around you'll sleep better you'll you'll find that job that you want that person that you're looking for will suddenly appear in the doorway okay they'll just suddenly appear in the doorway and you'll go ah, this is strange <laughs> you know you'll think think to yourself why wasn't i doing this before why didn't i do this before you know it stem it starts with one thing and it's baby steps, you know, sleep first and everything will fall into place. Yeah. Why am I saying? Yeah. I don't know why. I'm seeing a car as well. Yeah. It's something to do with a car. Yeah. Something to do with, you know, dry, <laughs> driving lessons. Why am I getting dry? driving lessons? Wow. <laughs> driving lessons. But also, getting away from that little bit, I've also been told nature. That was one word that dropped into my head. Nature. You've got to start walking in nature also, which will also help you sleep because you'll be looking at the birds and, uh, you know, the trees around you and just go for a walk, even if it's on your own. You know, just you'll, you'll meet people. You'll talk to people. people. People, if they want to talk back, you know, they will. Just say hello to everybody that you can. I do, and I've made so many friends everywhere I go now. Hello, how are you? <laughs> you know, but you're going to be, you know, you're going to be okay if you want, if you, but you've got to start with this, the sleep. That's where it stems. That's where all the other problems are coming from. Okay. Okay, once you've mastered the sleep side of it, you will be, you'll be there. Everything will, like I say, will fall into place. You'll be amazing. New job, new new person in your life, drive lessons. And, you, and you'll, you won't get everything you want because other challenges will come up and then you've got to take them challenges on board. Yeah? But uh, I hope that resonated with yourself. I know... It was a, a short one, but I hope that resonated with yourself, Daniel. And uh, yeah, we all need, we all need sleep. We all need sleep. So thank thank you so so much for coming through and supporting us. Like yeah, I say, yeah. just leave us a message and let me know if that resonated with yourself. But thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank and you, for, a, Danielle, yeah, for coming on. Yeah, and keep smiling. Keep smiling, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay. Yes. Um, um, now... I um, just want to let everyone know because uh, we've had we've got a few more people that have come on. Uh, just uh, I have pinned. Well, we do these lives on Facebook, uh, not Facebook, YouTube every week, and I have pinned a post with a link directly to our channel. So if you'd like to join us on there, we um, just subscribe and click on the bell so that you're notified. Um, I do have a really long list for today, 
Um, and a lot of times I, I can't get through it because I think we've already been on for two hours. Um, it does, because of how we focus on you, it does take a toll after a little while. Now, we don't have as many people come on on YouTube. So take the opportunity and subscribe and come on with us when we go on. Make sure you click the bell. Now, I for people that also miss out on a, a reading here today, it, it's only really a mini one that we do. You're most welcome to book us for a private reading. I mean, you're guaranteed a reading there. We, we can spend a really long time with you, um, giving you the guidance and clarification that you need. It's private and um, it, it's, you know, we focus just on you. There's not all these other distractions that we have while we're on live. Mm -hmm. um, I do apologize. I had a lot more people on my list. Um, but I just can't get through it. And uh, I've actually, I just can't. Um, I've done two hours. So I'm sorry. I apologize for everyone else that was still on the list. But, yeah. you know, please book a, a private reading or like our pages and follow us for when we come on next. We, we come on regularly. I've put in a link to my page as well, Enchanted Oracle Readings. The psychic touch is Paul's page, but you can reach us both on either. But, and, you know, it's been wonderful. It's been wonderful having everyone on and having the chat and doing readings, uh, just seeing the validation that it, we've been getting from everyone is fantastic. It, it really, and it makes me feel great that when I am able to help someone. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I just want to say thank you to uh, Danielle. I, I do you know, um, I, yeah, the driving thing, I do believe that will be somebody else that, uh, yeah, I do believe that will be somebody else that wants you to teach them. Um, yeah, you, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You've just got to take, take that negative, not negative, but that skin that's on the outside and the new you will pop out. Okay, he just takes baby steps, baby steps. Okay, you you'll be okay. You will be okay. So well done, Daniel. You, I, I think you're amazing. I think everyone's amazing. I think it doesn't matter what show they've been on. We've had so many great um, comments. You know, we didn't think we didn't understand that this was going to go as well as it did. When we first started, we thought, well, yeah, let's just see where it takes us, you know, and look at what we're doing. Look at how many great people are coming to us, Savannah. Look at them. I you know. know. I'm just amazed. I've nearly got a tear falling out of my eye. But it, it's it's amazing because, you know, it, it just makes me so proud that we're getting all these wonderful people coming to us, you know. And so massive, massive thank yous. But uh, as Savannah said, we are, you know, it does drain us. It does drain us a lot, you know, and uh, we have to recharge our batteries. I'll be going to bed soon. Savannah has got to get through the rest of the day. Um, but as, as we said, we'll, we'll be on YouTube and Facebook, but look out, look out for us and we'll be there, you know, because we don't want to leave you lot, you know. We're so proud to have such a family as, as yourselves, you know. And this is why we incorporate everybody into the family, because it just makes... I've never actually seen a group like this where we all interact, where everybody... Yeah. Knows. I've never seen anything like this, and I'm so proud that we thought about it and thought of it, you know. But this is where we're supposed to go, and this is where all these people that come to us are meant to be with us. Yeah, also meant to be with us, and we are so so proud of each and every one of you. Go out, go out there, and spread the happiness. You know, doesn't matter. You know, doesn't matter who you are. Even if you phone somebody and just be happy with somebody, it'll be amazing. So thank you, thank you to everybody. But uh, we we're, we're gonna have to um, go and have our sleeps and do the rest of our days but we will be back we will be back 
can I just say something, Paul? Sorry. Um, I just saw Amy's comment. I'm really sorry, Amy. Um, you were still a bit further down. If you like um, both our pages, because sometimes we go on my page too, I've just pasted the links of both our pages and the YouTube channel, which I've pinned. When, as soon as you see the notification, come on straight away, and that way at least you'll be towards the top of the list. I really do apologise um, that now I'm I did. So, sorry, sorry I, I'm going to say something to Amy here, right? You know why you've missed it twice? Because you weren't <gasps> meant you weren't meant to you weren't meant to get a reading for them two times, okay? And the third time should be the one. Yeah, because yeah. the people that you that are going to bring the messages through, okay, they're watching the telly. I don't, you know, they they're thinking, well, should we do it this time? Nah, let's do it next time. Nah, we'll wait until the next time. Yeah, yeah. but but uh, we'll we'll be there. We'll be there, and you will be. You'll be on the. You know, you'll be on the list. Because I think the next next one will be the YouTube one. Yeah, I think the next one we do is on YouTube. The but Danielle, I just saw what Danielle wrote, mm. and um, uh, thank you, Amy. Hug, I'm sending you a big hug, Danielle, because she wasn't in a good place today. No, and I know. We I know. really helped her out a lot, and I'm glad that we did. I, I feel so much so happy um, that we've been able to help you out today. Yeah, but, that, but that's what that's why we keep saying it. That's what we're here to do, and we are so. Pr I tell you something. If we stood in a big crowd, you know, on a stage with a big crowd, we'd make that whole crowd happy before they left. You might oh, get the yeah. odd person. We'd, if there was one person that left unhappy, you know, um, wow. Yeah, no. If we did that, I'd have to, I would have to hug everybody. I wouldn't be able to leave until I hugged everyone. So. What, what, if, what if there was 23,000 people? I don't care. Even if I just touch <laughs> them, I just have to. I just, it's just, I don't know. I think I just love people too much. I'm like that at work as well. I just oh, can't help it. I'd be the same, <laughs> I, you know. But that would yeah. be it, you know. And, and that's what we, we're trying to do, Danielle. We are trying to help so many people. You know, a lot of people are um tell us we're not doing the right thing but we are we know we are in in ourselves we know we're doing it right we know we're doing it right so but for me it's bedtime and for savannah it's her dinner time no it's not it's just past yeah just past midday but yeah i've got a few mm. things but just recover it first from this but thank you so much for everyone for joining us yeah, and thanks, we hope you. that you can join us next time we look forward even if it's just for a chat you know you don't have to have a reading just come on and have, have a laugh with us yeah what new friends you're going to pick up if you know yeah new definitely. friends yeah yeah because we all treat each other the same we're all we're all the same as soon as we get into this little into this little square <laughs> into yeah. this little box so definitely. yeah all right. Well, see you everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. And have a good Bye. night. Bye. Whatever.